Welcome back to Grown Ups 101. Today we're dealing with potty training. Always a fun time. Uh, so let's start with the signs that your toddler is ready or getting ready to be potty trained. I think the most telling sign is they often wake up with a dry diaper. This means that they have or are getting close to having bladder and bowel control. Subconsciously while they're asleep, they're not peeing themselves. So I think that is a very important sign. Two, um, my daughter will often go and get a diaper or point to a diaper. You know, she's showing me she's uncomfortable. She wants to be changed. Uh, she understands, at least to some degree, that she soiled herself. But I also think that's a good tell for, okay, let's change your understanding to going on the potty instead of going on yourself. If she does doo-doo, she won't sit down. If you can start telling when they're about to go, you know, doing a little pee dance or their face, you know, the, the pee is harder to catch, but, you know, I can usually tell now if she's about to go doo-doo. So not only is that helpful in the sense of, okay, I can get her to the potty, but it means that she knows something's coming at least. Okay, so now we know, or at least we think we do, that our kid is ready to be potty trained. So what do we do now? Buy a toilet. I bought her one at Walmart, 30 bucks though, and it looks just like a real toilet. You may choose to go for one that's a bit more kitty or somebody, you know, based on a character they like, Thomas or whatever. But my daughter, really enjoys imitating things I do following in my steps so I thought a more realistic one would help her understand and transition better. Our plan is let's introduce them to the toilet first. So I bought it a few days ago I put it in the bathroom when I sit down on the toilet she sits down on the toilet it's got a nice flushing sound giggles we have fun with it you don't want it to be a fight you don't want it to be something that she's not gonna like you're already going to have enough battle going through it, so let's find a toilet that your kid will like and let's introduce them to it now and have them come into the bathroom with you, do as you do, and if they don't go, just sit down, flush it. This model's really cool. It's by a company called Summer. At the very top, it has part for wipes. You can open it up, pull a wipey out. It also has a nice storage spot. You can put some books or some toys or whatever. Now, my sister, with her son, when she potty trained him, she would she found a show on Amazon with a character that he enjoyed. And it was a short video, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And every time he she would sit him on the toilet, let him watch the video. And the video was about going to the bathroom, of course. So he was able to associate with that. Now, my daughter doesn't watch TV right now, so I'm not going to introduce that to her on the toilet. Uh, I will use some sort of positive reinforcement, some sort of treat. Uh, I'll find something a bit healthy, but worst case scenario, I'll give her an M&M or something. Uh, and she'll really consider it a treat because she doesn't normally get something like that. I will go more positive reinforcement than negative on this one. I'm going with the quote-unquote three-day potty training method where we're going to stay home all weekend. From the moment I picked her up at daycare today, she has not had a diaper. I did put one on her when I took her up to bed, and I am going to keep doing that. I'm not going to deal with a wet, soaking bed and having her sleep in her pee like that. So... I'll have to give up on that point, but you need to have a block of time where you're going to be at home, keep the kid in a easily cleanable area, or staying downstairs over the tile. When they start going to the bathroom, you need to keep a very close eye, because tonight I missed both opportunities. The second one I caught, and I was able to get a few drops in the toilet, so I consider that a slight win. But the point is, we're trying to associate going to the bathroom and doing it on the potty. Now, when she did go without the diaper, she instantly knew something was different. Like I said, you need a close eye. I was washing some grapes to give her, turned around, and she's standing in a puddle. 
So I still, I just picked her up, put her on the toilet, gave her a little cheer, had some fun with her. She flushed it. The second time, again, we were in the fridge. She was pointing at something, and there it was. But this time, I caught her midstream. Yeah, you're running the risk of being messy, but keep that toilet close by. It was in the corner of the kitchen. That's where we were hanging out, in the kitchen. I put her on the toilet, got a few drops in. She sat there for another bit. I actually gave her a little tiny piece of a Hershey kiss, like maybe a quarter, just to kind of be like, yeah, you did it, you know. And Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. She flushed it. You know, I cleaned her up both times. Like I said, close eye. So I'm going to have to be a little quicker this weekend, and I will keep you guys updated on how it goes. But when I potty trained my son, now he was older, I just – remove the diaper, you know, and he would come and ask me, Daddy, I want a diaper. Daddy, I want a diaper. And I'd tell him, no, if you need to go to the bathroom, we do it on the potty now. And I would take him, put him on the potty. Most of the time it was fun. It was definitely a few battles. We got him through it, and honestly with him, it took a couple weeks at, at best. I also, my goal with him was let's get the doo-doo in the toilet first, and then within a week or probably like two weeks after that, I had him peeing on the toilet as well. But I was I was done with cleaning uh, doo-doo diapers up with him. Now, girls supposedly hit the point of being ready a little bit faster than boys. They don't like to sit in it. So that's a positive thing for you if you have a daughter. Uh, your boy might be a bit more of a fight. And I did teach my boy initially peeing and sitting down. I'm sure people have problems with that, but at the same time, I was not going to give him a loaded gun and have him shoot everywhere. So, but initially, this is where we start. We know they're ready, the signs that, that tell us that they're ready, and what we need to do. Introduce them to the toilet, make it a good time, and we have to change their thinking from, okay, I have this feeling I'm going pee, um, I'm done, to noticing when they have to go to the bathroom and getting them to the toilet to go to the bathroom. Then positive reinforcement for going on the toilet. So that's my plan, and I will keep you guys updated on how it works and make a full video of the final product. But good luck to you guys. Good luck to me as well. And uh, any questions, comments, or advice, I would really appreciate advice on this one. I read a lot. I talk to a lot of people, but real-world experience seems to ring true more often than not especially with these things so thank you i appreciate it and thank you for watching grown-ups 101